Imagine trying to send an important message, but the person you're sending it to uses a completely different communication system. It's like trying to send a voice note to someone who can only receive text messages. Well, this is the exact problem that many blockchain networks face today. There's billions of dollars worth of digital assets that are stuck in isolated systems and unable to talk to or work with each other. But the good news is there's a great solution that's gonna change everything. Everything around digital assets is going through massive change right now. Take major networks like XRP, Avalanche, and Ethereum. They handle a huge number of transactions daily, but they've operated separately. This separation causes big problems for users, developers, and institutions that need to work across different blockchain networks. The need for seamless communication between these networks is massive, and building secure connections between them is one of the biggest markers for progress in the industry. Inner Axelar. You can think of Axelar like a universal translator that allows different blockchain networks to understand and interact with each other more easily. Whether you're investing in crypto or building blockchain apps or just looking at the future of finance, interoperability will fundamentally change how you interact with digital assets. Right now, if you want to use a decentralized app on Ethereum, but your assets are on the XRP ledger, you have a complicated and expensive process to move them. This kind of friction hasn't been just inconvenient, but really a major roadblock to widespread blockchain adoption. So let's look at how Axelar actually works. At its core, Axelar is a universal overlay network that connects different blockchain ecosystems, similar to an internet protocol for blockchains. It uses something called general message passing, or GMP, which enables seamless information flow between chains. Unlike traditional bridges, which require complex token wrapping and unwrapping, Axelar's approach is a whole lot more elegant. When you start a transaction with Axelar, it begins at the Axelar gateway. This gateway serves as a secure checkpoint that validates and processes your transaction. There's a network for decentralized validators that acts together to ensure that every cross-chain interaction is secure and accurate. To do that, they need to reach consensus and agree on the state of those transactions across all connected blockchains. So let's look at a practical example to make this clear. Suppose you want to send XRP to someone who only uses Avalanche. Without a way for those networks to work together, it really wouldn't be possible. You'd have to sell your XRP, buy AVAX, and then send that instead. But Axlar builds a secure connection between those networks and makes it easy to send tokens directly to another recipient's address. The Axlar network takes care of the conversions and the security checkpoints in the background. Since security is paramount when connecting different networks, Axlar uses a sophisticated security mechanism called threshold cryptography. It requires multiple validators to agree before any cross-chain action can take place. This is similar to needing multiple signatures on a bank check, but a whole lot more advanced. The system divides cryptographic keys among its validators so that no single party can compromise the network. But there's really more to it than just validator consensus. Axelar's security model includes multiple layers of protection, and the first layer involves the validator network that monitors all connections in real time. The second layer consists of cryptographic proofs that verify the state of each blockchain. And the third layer involves economic incentives that encourage validators to act honestly and penalize any attempted manipulation in the network. One of Axelar's most innovative features is the use of threshold accounts, which act as secure gateways between networks. Threshold accounts are secure ports with specific protocols and security measures in place for handling transfers between different systems. They use advanced cryptographic techniques to ensure that assets can only be moved when the proper conditions are met and multiple parties agree. Threshold accounts are particularly interesting because they solve a fundamental problem in blockchain interoperability, the need for trust. Rather than requiring users to trust a centralized bridge or intermediary, Axelar's threshold accounts distribute trust across a network of validators. That approach combines the security benefits of decentralization with the efficiency needed for practical use. The impact of this technology extends way beyond just crypto transfers. Major financial institutions are already partnering with Axelar to bring traditional assets onto blockchain networks through a process called tokenization. If you're not familiar with tokenization, that allows real-world assets such as stocks, bonds, real estate, other property, to be represented digitally as tokens. Axelar's infrastructure enables those tokenized assets to move freely between different blockchain platforms. For example, if you had a tokenized share of a company that existed on the Stellar network, but wanted to use it as collateral in a DeFi application on another chain, Axelar's technology makes it possible by creating a secure pathway for those assets to move between networks while maintaining all other value and properties. It uses the Cross-Chain Gateway Protocol, or CGP, to route and address transactions to different blockchains. 
similar to how a GPS guides your navigation, and it works no matter what network they use. In addition to that, Axelar uses cross-chain transfer protocol, or CTP, to standardize communication between different blockchains. This protocol gives developers simple APIs and tools to make it easier to build apps that work across multiple systems. The CTP handles all the complex background processes, including message formatting, validation, and delivery confirmation. So let's look at how these partnerships work in practice. Axelar's integration with Circle enables native USDC transfers across multiple chains and eliminates the need for wrapped versions of the stablecoin. The Microsoft Azure partnership brings blockchain interoperability to enterprise systems, allowing businesses to leverage blockchain without being locked into a single network. The collaboration with Ondo Finance is pretty interesting as well, since it facilitates the tokenization of US Treasury bills. This means that traditional financial instruments can now freely move between blockchain networks and opens up a lot more possibilities for institutional investors and traders. The system currently connects 70 different blockchains, each with its own unique characteristics and requirements. To keep performance high, Axelar uses a smart routing system. It optimizes transaction paths by considering speed, cost, and network congestion, and the network also uses lazy execution as a technique to delay some computations until they're really needed. By doing this, Axelar is able to maintain efficiency as the network grows and ensures that users don't experience significant delays even as more blockchains are added to the system. Moving into the future, Axelar's technology opens up a lot of new possibilities for new types of decentralized apps. Developers can now build cross-chain native apps so that they can use the unique features of multiple blockchains at once. As an example, you could have an app that uses the XRP Ledger's fast payments and also access Ethereum smart contracts, all through one single interface. The system's modular design allows for continuous improvement and adoption. And as new blockchain technologies emerge, Axelar can integrate them without the need to change any core infrastructure. That kind of flexibility ensures that the network can continue to evolve alongside the broader blockchain ecosystem. Cross-chain transactions become extremely simple, and Axelar can handle all the complexity in the background. The system security model provides peace of mind without really sacrificing any usability, and while its efficiency keeps transaction costs relatively low. Users can also benefit from increased liquidity as assets are able to flow freely between different networks. That means better prices for trades and more uses for digital assets as a whole. The future of digital assets isn't really about competition and isolated networks, but more about seamless connectivity and collaboration. Axelar's infrastructure provides the foundation for that future and enables a new generation of blockchain applications and services. As more networks integrate with the system and more developers build cross-chain apps, we're moving closer to a truly interconnected blockchain ecosystem. In my opinion, it's pretty important for everyone in crypto to understand this project, and as the ecosystem continues to evolve, platforms like Axelar are going to play a big role in shaping how we interact with digital assets and blockchain networks. Anyway, I hope this sheds some light on a few things for you. Give me a favor and smash the like, give me a follow, and I'll see you guys on the next one.